I want you to know that we're out here because the society we're living in is gone. It's destroyed. We're living in a fantasy, the freedom and all this other crap. Authority is the only rule there is. And they are crushing us under their boot. The lower classes, there's a war being waged. The police keep talking about a war on crime. It's okay. The police keep talking about a war on crime, a war on drugs, a war on terrorism. They keep declaring these wars, and we keep taking the casualties. And we're sick of it. What's the end game for you guys? It looks like the police have kind of obstructed your way this year more than in years past. What do you think is going to happen? That depends on the police. That depends entirely on the police. And if they push us, we will push back. All right, Jay, thank you for your thank time. Thank you, sir. Joining us on the line is uh, Evan Bush. He's a reporter with the Seattle Times. So, Evan, what's the very latest now on these clashes between the demonstrators and police? Well, it's uh, petered down quite a bit. Um, the uh, police sort of marshaled the protesters uh, through downtown Seattle and then down to uh, Soda, which is an industrial district in Seattle, uh, to a Costco parking lot. And uh, there were a couple of arrests at the parking lot and a couple of arrests on the way. And then um, the protesters um, and demonstrators went back down to downtown and it's pretty much petered out at this point. But earlier there was uh, reports that uh, the protesters, well, they were throwing Molotov cocktails and rocks and bricks at the police. Um, I haven't seen any of that personally. Um, I saw an officer with a bandaged head. Um, I didn't see Molotov cocktails. I did uh, hear a lot of folks talking about bricks, and uh, I think we we're reporting that uh, through uh, our other reporters and the Seattle Police as well. So, um, but it's been—it uh, certainly hasn't been an entirely uh, peaceful march, I think, by any stretch. Um, that much is certain. Um, well, I've seen at least, let's see, uh, five or six arrests. Um, and basically, what the police have done is, you know, they had um, sort of lines of uh, officers on bicycles on either side of the street. And then when they saw someone that they felt they needed to arrest, they uh, would sort of pedal in fast, uh, surround them, and pull them back from the rest of the protesters. And... Uh, and arrest them. Um, and I saw that several times. And uh, so that's been uh, interesting to see. Uh, the police were, uh, this is sort of a, you know, yearly thing in Seattle. For the past five years, we've had uh, protests on, on May Day. And there are peaceful protests generally in the uh, afternoon, um, anti, or excuse me, um, and then the anti-capitalist uh, marches happen in, in the evening. Um, and this one, I think we saw a larger police presence than we have seen before. And, uh, and the aggressive tactics on, on both sides. These protesters with the sign in the front, the one that says we are ungovernable, they've been marching in the front of the protest the entire time. They tried to make a turn. They tried to make a turn away from the water, and they were confronted by police there. The two groups clashed. I saw some sticks being waved in the air, definitely some things being thrown. Police at one point seemed to have a hold of the sign, pushed the protesters back. There was a lot of smoke. I don't know if that was their fireworks or any kind of a tear gas or whatever police are deploying to try to do crowd control. But leading up to this, police were way, way far ahead, way south on second, preparing to intercept the protesters. In fact, there's still a whole line of bicycle police officers there blocking a corner where it appears the protesters are walking towards now. They're about a block away.
That was a flash thing right there. They're setting him off here. Second and Cherry. Hopefully you can see us. Whoa! Brutality!